Rick Grubaugh of Grubaugh Auction Service showing you our auction that we'll be having on Sunday, March 19th. It is a heck of a collectible auction, a lot of antiques and collectibles here. It's also on proxy bid. There's about 510 lots on proxy bid. The ones I'm showing you here are not on proxy bid. Uh, I will show you those at the end of the video because you can get on my website and see individual pictures of those um, if you'd like to or you can go to proxy bid and see those as well. So kind of just showing you what else we have besides those 510 items. Uh, the auction starts at 1030 and we will start right on uh, the proxy items as well as mixing in these items uh, throughout the course of the day. So we'll kind of go one, uh, one proxy item and then one of these items. It's worked for us very well in the past and would expect it'll work for us uh, very well again uh, this uh, for this auction on the 19th. You're going to see a lot of signs and uh, just, uh, just a wide variety, ammo boxes and all kinds of things here on this auction on the 19th. Uh, just a really nice collection of, of uh, different things and a lot of books, a lot of uh, coin books and information books here. Uh, I'll show you on, these ta on this table here. Um, there's there's just a lot of enamel and there's jars and bottles and toys, uh, advertising pieces. There's a lot of different things here. You see some dolls down there as well. And uh, here's some, some kitchen items uh, for a dollhouse. And seed sacks and pop cases. Uh, here you've got some oil cans and the butter churn there. Like I say, just kind of a fine mixture throughout there. You see the ones with tags are, are lauded, but here these are not. And there's just a lot of books that uh, and uh, albums here, but a lot of books that, that are informative books about different things. And you have a lot of coin books there, probably 10 or 12 coin books. I notice there's some Husker things here and comic books as well. And so just a, again, I've said it before, but a wide variety and really some super things here to choose from uh, during the course of the day. So hopefully you can make it on the 19th. If you can't, uh, we do have this auction, about 510 of the lots that are on proxy bid. So just go to proxy bid and type in Grubaugh and you'll go to our auctions that we have on there. And uh, certainly if, if that's the case, um, we certainly welcome your bids on on proxy bid as well if you cannot attend the auction. I do think this would be a heck of a one to attend, especially for those people that, that like Crocs and things. And let's face it, Crocs are pretty hard to ship. And this is a heck of a collection of Crocs. And now we'll get into our lauded items. And all of these Crocs here, as you can see, there's you can go through our, our list on proxy bid or on my website. And they're all individually pictured, uh, very well described. Uh, they do a good job of describing any chips or anything like that that's on them, uh, but they are, it's just a heck of a uh, group of Crocs here and uh, a lot of salt glazed ones and different ones um, and some jugs and all kinds of different Crocs that are really rare and uh, especially with the advertising that's on them. And like I say, these are hard to ship, but if you're coming uh, or if you're bidding on items and you're ways away, I can certainly hold these items for a couple weeks for you, for you to get here or whatever you need to do. Um, because I'd say it'd be much easier for you to pick them up than to ship them. But uh, we'll ship them if you want us to. Um, so, but just a wide variety, about probably 150 or at least 150 Crocs, maybe, maybe closer to 175 of the Croc items. And then we get into some different uh, antiques and different collectibles here. You see a good, some guitars. There's probably about eight guitars here uh, as well throughout the auction. Um, then your gas cans, which seem to be these gas and oil collectibles which seem to be very popular. And we'll turn in this way and you're gonna see more of that and some smaller tins. Again, I can't emphasize uh, I know seeing all these here on your video is not easy. Go to my website. They're all pictured individually on there. 
uh, or go to proxy bid. They're, indi they're individually there as well. And um, so you certainly can take a look at these items as they're all individually pictured there. And like I say, they're very well described as well. Um, just so you know, when you uh, are on proxy bid, if you want to bid on things and you want to put a max bid in, we do not know what your max bid is. And I will go through this again because I've had to tell several people this. Let's say your max bid is $100. And the bid at the time of the auction is $50. So we start at 50, that's your bid. Then somebody on, on uh, in, in house bids 60. And then you of course will kick in at 70 for your max bid. Then we, somebody bids 80. You kick in at 90 and somebody on the floor bids 100. We have no more room to take you to 110. So it ends up selling to somebody else because we don't look at max bids. People get very upset when it sells for $100 and their max bid was 100 and they don't understand why. But I've had nobody complain ever when their max bid is 100 and they only get it for $60. I've never had anyone call me and complain that they didn't uh, have to pay their max bid. So it works two ways, folks. And uh, I'm trying to be as honest as I can with you. And that's how I'm going to continue to do it because that's the way I'm going to serve my clients, both uh, my buyers and my sellers. I'm going to be as honest as I can. So if you lose it on a max bid, it's not because I'm trying to have you lose it. It's because that's how the bidding went. And uh, I'm trying to make every cent I can here for the seller, but trying to make buyers happy as, to, as well and be honest. So anyway, I just wanted to explain that, and hopefully I don't have to explain that again to people. I'm sure I will, but anyway, just wanted to explain that a little bit. But we got a heck of an auction here on March 19th. Certainly hope you can make it to our auction here. I'll kind of scan it again. Uh, just a really nice uh, auction, well set up, and uh, we will see you here in Monroe, at the Monroe Auditorium on March 19th, Monroe, Nebraska, and uh, it starts at 10.30. Thank you for watching, folks.